Hi guys, I'm guessing you're probably not aware that your next Uber ride could be in an electric vehicle. I think that's a good thing. And welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and you're watching The Electric Singularity. If you can subscribe and like the video, that would be awesome. Really, really awesome. Please, thanks. Guys, Splend, which says it is Australia's biggest leaser of vehicles to ride share drivers, has ordered 2,000 battery electric vehicles, the country's largest ever zero emission car purchase. Chief Executive Chris King says the cars will be delivered progressively from March when Chinese brand BYD goes on sale here in Australia. Now, that's not entirely true, guys. BYD will actually be selling the T3 van here in Australia within a month, and they'll be selling a range of BYD vehicles at the end of this year. BYD, or Nextport, the Australian distributor of BYD, will actually bring out six different models, and most of those will be on sale before March of 2022. So. Having these EVs will enable the Splend fleet to meet its target of 50% zero emissions vehicles by the end of next year. Currently, they have 1,500 cars on Australian roads, but none of these are electric vehicles. Unfortunately, in Australia here, we don't have any EV incentives until recently when Victoria introduced some incentives, and I believe other states are following suit. Now, it's UK fleet, the United Kingdom, England, for those who don't know, However, is already largely electric, says King, because there are better incentives there. Now, last month, AFR Weekend revealed BYD's plans to introduce Australia's cheapest BEV, the EA1, with orders being taken from August for delivery early next year. Luke Todd, CEO of the importer True Green Mobility or Nextport, says the first will be a Volkswagen Golf sized hatchback called EA1, and it will be priced well below $35,000. The base model should be just under 30000 and the better spec model will be around about 35000 It will be the cheapest car EV in Australia by some, rain, by some distance. And in fact, it would be the cheapest EV in many other countries when it's released there also, with the UK, New Zealand, and Norway, I believe, to follow suit. After that, the rest of the world, BYD is coming. So that would make the EA1 $10,000 cheaper than any other electric vehicle in Australia. $10,000 or potentially $15,000 cheaper. Now, Todd, CEO of Nextport, says he has negotiated for a second sub $35,000 electric vehicle from BYD to quickly follow. He describes it as a uniquely shaped high riding hatch rather than a traditional SUV and says it will be unveiled in the coming weeks. An electric BYD delivery van is also available and will form part of the Splend order. So guys, this to me is the most interesting part of this news that not only will we Australia and New Zealand and probably the UK get the EA1, we'll also get a similar vehicle which is sort of a crossover. So a high riding hatchback, which is basically a crossover, let's be honest. I didn't know about this, but this is good news. Hopefully I can find out I'll contact the distributor and contact BYD and try and find out what this vehicle is. Now, BYD is a large and ambitious, ambitious Shenzhen China-based car maker that employs many leading European designers and engineers and counts Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway amongst its investors. Buffett has an 8.2% share of the company and has been invested with the company for over a decade. That's right. He's done extremely well out of the stock. We see BYD as being a key EV player in Australia, says King, and we're getting ahead of the curve. He would not give an overall value for the order, citing commercial confidentiality and noting the final specifications and mix of models has not been finalised. He said the sharp pricing of the Chinese EVs will make them competitive with conventional vehicles for rideshare drivers. In fact, I don't think it'll just make them competitive because if you're a rideshare driver, you're relying on the cost of one, servicing, yep, You've got to pay to your, for your car to be serviced more often than a regular driver. You've got to pay for brake pads more often than a regular driver. You've got to pay for consumables more often than a regular driver. You've got to pay for oil changes more often than a regular driver. You've got to pay for all those things, and you've got to pay to replace your car once it's done probably 300, maybe 350,000 kilometers max. With an EV, with specifically in this case a BYD EV running a blade battery, you should be able to get 1.2 million kilometers before you see up to 80% or before you see real, any real significant battery degradation. 
What that means is as long as you keep your car in good condition, you should get a million kilometers out of your car, which would give you three times the life of a normal car. Plus, cheaper fuel, much cheaper to charge an EV, plus cheaper not to have to service, plus cheaper not to have to replace rotors and brake pads and many other things you have to replace on a normal petrol gas powered car. He says, what we've been working on hard is getting the numbers to stack up for, to make sure that a net position, car cost plus fuel costs, it's equal to or much better. Fuel costs up to $150 a week for some of our drivers and will go down to $30 a week in electricity. That is a big saving, not only for the driver, it's also a big saving for the environment. Good news. From July 2021 to July 2022, in Uber in Australia will halve its service fee for drivers of BEVs, potentially leading to a big increase in their uptake. So you're getting an additional discount with Uber on top of the lower costs. Uber Green, a trial program in some markets that allows customers to pay slightly more to be picked up in an emissions-free vehicle, is also a possibility. Put the sale of 2,000 cars into perspective, Australians bought only 5,215 electric vehicles last year, the Electric Vehicle Council says. CEO B.R. Jafari says that total includes a reliable estimate for Tesla, which does not officially release sales figures in Australia. True Green Mobility promises to bring in at least six different BYD models here over the next two years and sell them with a showroom-free direct-to-consumer online model, which I've spoken about in my other videos. Todd says Splend's fleet of drivers and BYD vehicles will be used to demonstrate the car, the car's potential to Australian buyers. We're also on target to have our first experience centre open by July or, or August this year, so people can actually experience BYD cars. With two cars sub 35,000, it really is the inflection point for EVs to become mainstream. As I've spoken about previously, guys, we are at the inflection point. It's happening now, not in 25, 2025, but now in 2021 and 2022. These incredibly exciting times. It's a great time to be alive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.